Hi there guys, um, Jai, Ingrid and Renata here at Body Conquest today and we're going to show you a quick, um, quick little tip on how to take your skin fold measurements. As a lot of you clients are now starting to use the Recomposer program, it's essential that we get skin fold measurements and we're using the Jackson and Pollock 3 site measurements. So today I'm going to show you where the sites are on the female and how to take those skin folds. So we're going to start off with the tricep uh, measurement. Now for, to find the uh, mark so you get consistent measurements, it's, a, it's an idea to find where you're measuring against. So the first thing that we want to be doing is finding the acromial process, which is basically the bony part on the end of her, scap, her shoulder blade. And you find the end part of that, it's a good idea to mark it up like I have there, I've created a cross. And then also you want to find the, uh, the end of the radial, so the most um, superior point of the radius, which is our forearm, our top forearm bone. Now to do that, what you usually want to do is get her to bend her elbow and you can actually almost see it pop out. She's got a bit of a meaty forearm there, so it's kind of hard to see. But you can see there that I've marked it out, it's that bony protrusion that comes out of the end of the elbow. Now what we want to be doing is finding the midpoint between those two spots, and that will be around about the line where we make our measurements and for those that are doing seven site it would be the same measurement for where you do your bicep on the front end. Midpoint and then we come to the rear of the tricep and we want to grab a fold of skin like so probably about a centimeter below where we're going to take the measurement so that we're actually measuring on the line and you want to palp palpitate the skin so you're making sure you're not grabbing muscle and so you're getting a good chunk of the skin and the, and the subcutaneous fat and from there take the measurement and hold for one second and take that reading. And we want to do that about three times over just to make sure that we're getting an accurate reading. If you get three different readings, maybe try it again, give yourself about five minutes and come back to it. So that's the tricep measurement. The next measurement on our um, spot is the suprailiac, which is the love handle area. <laughs> Everyone loves it when the PT grabs the love handles. Now what we want to be looking for no, we is don't. the iliac crest, which is the highest point on our hips, and I've marked that up there, but basically it should be just a matter of probing in onto, uh, onto your side until you find your hip, and run it along until you find the highest point. Now from there, we want to actually measure up around about five centimeters, okay? Five centimeters, pull the skin out, palpitate it, and then grab the fold, uh, measure the fold from about a centimeter from there. Hold it for one second, take the reading, do it three times over, okay? Last measurement, as I cross three times back and forth over that camera, sorry, if, yeah, it's bad camera work, is the mid thigh. Mid thigh, we wanna be taking down the center line of the front of the thigh, and to find the point where we're going to measure, what we need to do is find the anterior superior iliac spine, which is, Basically, that same iliac crest, you reach down to the front and you'll find the bony protuberance at the front of your hip where your leg joint starts to uh, run into the hip. So we measure, that's the topmost spot. The lower, lowest most spot is at the top of the patella, your kneecap. We find the midway point between those two, grab about a couple of centimeters above that. 1,000, 2,000, take that reading. Do that three times over. That should help you guys or girls, because guys have got different measurements. We'll be running you through that in a separate video. But for the girls that need to do skin folds, doing it that way each and every time is gonna help you get more consistent readings. Just as another side note, your calipers, if you can, try and get hold of your metal ones like these ones, the Harpenden. They are expensive, but they are far more accurate than those $30 plastic ones that you can pick up at Heart Sport or you know, your local Rebel Sport and things like that. And that will also help you to get a little bit more accurate readings. Definitely don't use the electronic ones, guys. They are terrible. So that's it from us today. So um, we will uh, hear from you soon when you send through your next readings. Thanks guys.